Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Dragon Ball Xenoverse live stream number two. My name is Jay Karchi, and this is Brandon Williams. And I'm the community manager here at Bandai Namco Games. And you, what's your job? What do you do, Brandon? I'm a localization producer. Localization producer. Yep. So you work with the team in Japan to take a look at the game. You're kind of the guy who gets to see the game way before any of us do, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's accurate. <laughs> and you were also a Dragon Ball fan. A little bit. Yeah? Yeah. So I think the people who bit. watched... <laughs> um, my volume's really loud in my ear. Uh, I think the people that watched last time we did this, were it was very apparent that I don't know anything about Dragon Ball. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> I watched maybe some episodes as a kid, but I never really followed it's along. Too low. He's, he's too low on mine. Case, case, sorry. Or just get sorting out our audio. <laughs> yeah. But I think it was very apparent last time... That's fine. It was very apparent last time that... Uh, I was not a fan, and you definitely <laughs> were. <laughs> Which I think that's good. That's why we have you here. Right, yeah. We're here together. So, we're going to play Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Right. Do you know when this game comes out? This game comes out in North America on February 24th. Sure. And you know it's out on Steam? Steam will be the 27th. Yeah, so it goes in the, in the Americas, February 24th, Tuesday, and then Steam globally on the 27th. Yes. So, I'm just going to do get our marketing stuff out of the way here. Uh, it's digitally pre-orderable on Xbox One and PS4 right now, and Xbox 360. PS3, it'll be available on day one, D so there's just no pre-order digitally, but it'll be, it'll be available. That is correct. Yes. So, now that we got all that out of the way, dates, all that stuff, um, let's look at, can we, we're looking at the game right now, you have a character already, can we go back and do create a new character? Because last time we had this live stream, so basically the game's coming out super soon. So last time we had to be kind of secretive about some of the features, etc. Da, da 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 da. But this time we kind of want to go go all everything we have. So last time we were told to stay away from the Frieza race, correct? That is correct. So but this time, this time we're going we're right in. So let's go look at. Let's go check him out. Let's create a Frieza character. And you can tweet any questions you have to at Bandai Namco US. We're gonna try to read them. We'll try to read Twitch chat. We'll try to. We're gonna answer a lot of questions today. Uh, to the best of our abilities, from what we know. So, why don't you go through and kind of show off the different options for the freeze race? Right. So, freeze race, they're a you know mysterious alien race. We haven't seen too many of them actually in the show. Yeah. Um, there's only been a handful, but we've got a lot of different options which are based on what we have seen. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, they don't really have hair. So, instead of that option, we have a lot of different kind of horns and different kind of uh, uh, you know bio armor. That's pretty cool. That we have, yeah, yeah. They so look very cool. Can you see what a female one, one looks like, real quick, too? Uh, so they're an asexual race. I knew that, of course. Of course, because <laughs> you're a huge Dragon Ball fan. I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. Uh, yeah, they're an asexual race. <laughs> um, Frieza, you know, a little bit more on the feminine side. Okay. Um, Frieza <laughs> himself or herself, whatever. Right. You know. Itself. All right. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Got some cool kind of eye options here. Let's go with the. That's the quite a bit of customization. Good. Can you, uh, I see that tail going on. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the freezer is, they have the, their tails kind of stick out and they move around, um, which is really, really cool. It makes them unique. Uh, so as a Dragon Ball fan, yes. you got to start playing this game. And as soon as you got a build that was like, okay, time to go in and make your own character. What was the first character that you created? Um, well, the first <laughs> build that I got didn't have all of the races <laughs> available, but yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I made Namekian first. Okay. Because Piccolo is just such a badass. Yeah. That guy. One of those made him look like Shredder. Yeah. Yeah. So with the face, I like yeah. the face mask <laughs> one. It's like he's just super mysterious. Right. That's pretty uh, cool. And we've got some different kind of, some ear options. So just to give you guys a breakdown what we're going to do today, we're on, we're live for an hour-ish. So we're going to go through the Frieza character creation. We're going to answer a bunch of fan questions. Um, we'll talk about all the different modes and options. Um, we'll do part one of our giveaways. We'll take a quick break through a video. And then we'll come back. We will kind of dig in, do some more. We're actually going to play a little bit of a mission, right? Uh, yeah, we'll do some. We'll do some quests. Okay, we'll do we'll do a couple we'll do quests, quests and we'll finish up with some one on one. Brandon will beat the crap out of me, and then we'll do some uh -huh. more giveaways at the end. So you now we're naming our character, which is very important because it's going to stick with yeah, you throughout the whole it's game, right? Stick, yeah, for or for at least this hour, right? So we gotta we gotta give him a good one. Freezy pop. Freezy pop. It makes too much sense. Yep. Okay, so we went you went through all the options. And we talked about this last time, but what was that last option right there? You oh, yeah, it? I ran through that again. That's okay. um, so basically, w after you create your character, um, it gives you three options. 
mm -hmm. it just gives you your starting skills. Um, so if you want to be me or more melee focused or more range focused or balanced, you have three options okay. to choose from. Yeah. So we're in Toki Toki City. Here this we is are. the hub city. Hub city. And um, just to clarify, these servers are worldwide. Is that correct? Yeah. So you'll be able to play with people from Europe, Japan, wherever. Okay. Um, you can all meet in Toki Toki City. Right. Um, you know, do your you cool and your gang. Yeah, you and your gang. Yeah. You what do is your that? cool poses. Oh, and stuff. emotes. Yeah. Do a couple more of those. Okay. Those well, are that's what we got in here. Are those um, different for every race? Uh, no, they all do the same okay. pose. Um, Everyone can do the Frieza stance? Everyone can do that. Oh, I should do Frieza stance since I have a oh. Frieza race character. Those are this pretty good. This is the great Saiyaman pose, though. And then he'll just he'll just stay like that <laughs> <laughs> if you do him. It's pretty funny. Those are pretty well done. But yeah, um, like all the Ginyu Force poses are in here. Okay. Uh, so I fully expect people to try to line up their Ginyu Force poses with their buddies. That is awesome. Um, same I with fusion poses. There's definitely some good so gifts Frieza coming. stance. Nice. So, yeah, I'll probably be doing a lot of that <laughs> uh, when this game goes live. Okay. Um, what platform are you going to play on when it goes live? Uh, probably PS4. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like using a controller. Um, what were you going to do? We're going to go to the place where you can do local co-op and okay. show off, or you can do the one-on-one. -on -one. I wanted to look at all, because we have all the characters unlocked right now, right? We've got everybody on. So let's go take a look at the list. Okay, so are we going to... A regular battle or a quest now? Uh, whatever can you can show me the list of characters. Okay. We'll go over here to uh, battles. Okay. Um, and we're currently not uh, connected online right now. This right. is kind of like a, a closed build. So um, you kind of see some uh, kind of computer generated right. generated uh, NPCs in but the city. Normally those will be filled with regular players sure. who you'll be able to interact but with. But it's the same for people at home, right? If they like unplug from the internet or choose to play offline. Yeah, if you choose to play off in offline mode, yeah, they'll be filled with some, uh, right. some AI characters. That's cool. Well, we got Freezy Pop there. So there's Freezy Pop. Um, so here's the character list. Right. Um, this is everyone unlocked. Okay. Um, just kind of slowly. I mean, the chat will definitely through. just slowly go so through you guys, everybody. You guys want to count it out? Because I know people have been asking. For play, everyone wants to know. So, we'll so see who's with here. every so with every character, they have you can hit L1 and R1. Could you explain that real quick? Yeah. So see if we have Goku here. Um, you'll notice that if you hit L1 and R1, you can cycle through a bunch of variations. Right. And those, um, are, those are basically just different costumes. Right. Um, but they also have different abilities. Yeah. So these kind of represent. Goku, like in various stages of the Dragon Ball, because it's been going on series. forever. And, and since he's a main character and he's been there the whole time, he has the most number of variations. Right, right. Um, so it represents him during different battles, and then you can also show the skill list, which is on that costume. Okay. And generally, generally, the skills equipped will be um, the skills and stuff that he used during that battle. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so we even have uh, this is also Goku after he has had his body swapped with Ginyu. So it says Goku. Um, and you'll see he has some Goku moves, but you'll be fighting in Ginyu's body. So that <laughs> represents like that That's short, cool. that brief moment in the Frieza saga, That's pretty which cool. you know all about I being a huge Dragon Ball fan. Yeah, please quiz me. Um, <laughs> 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 so some different variations, and like you'll see, like this one has this one has Super Saiyan two equipped. Okay. Um, so this is how you're going to be able to play a Super Saiyan two Goku. You're right. going to choose choose him, and then you're going to want to choose one of the variations that has sure. kind of Super Saiyan two. Now, keep on moving through all the characters so okay. people can see everything. But as you're doing that. Could you um, touch briefly on uh, transformations and how they work? Okay. Because everybody, right. everybody wants to know about transformations. Okay. Um, I want to briefly mention that the characters are here are ordered generally kind of like by saga. So okay. characters who kind of appeared at the beginning of the saga are towards the left, generally speaking. Then as you move through like the Saiyan saga, then you'll see some Frieza saga characters. Okay. Then Android saga, Cell saga, Boo saga. Okay. Move and, through and a little slowly stuff. too so everyone can pick okay. up. Okay. Everybody. I'm sure people are taking screenshots. But yeah. <laughs> well, the, this game has launched in Japan. So right, it's not so like... People know. Yeah, it's not, not really a huge secret out there. anymore. Right, yeah. right, right. If you've been yeah. paying attention, you've been watching all these YouTube videos, you know all these answers already. Right. Uh, so transformations are basically ultimate skills um, that will generally kind of change your character's appearance. So for that's mostly it's limited to Super Saiyan. Yeah. Um, so Saiyan characters who have the Super Saiyan ability, yeah. you know, when you activate it... I'm going to move through the characters. You keep okay. on talking. Okay, when you activate it, yeah. um, you know, your hair will turn yellow. Um, and uh, you'll basically get like a... You'll be in like kind of like a temporary um, powered up state where you can use um, key-based super moves for free. Okay. Um, but, when, but your key will also slowly drain. So right. it's kind of like a time-limited thing. Um, then you're kind of vulnerable for a short amount of time because you'll also lose all your stamina for a brief moment of time. Right. And so you want, I mean, you you want to have, but you can, you want to make sure you have tons of key 
ready for that. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's good to try to, to activate when you have a lot of key stored out. If you activate it when you have a little bit of key, right. then it'll just run out quickly, and then you'll just make yourself vulnerable faster. Okay. Um, and there's things, there's transformations or power-ups besides, um, that guy's awesome, um, besides Super Saiyan, right? Um, there's some other moves which will be listed under the transformation category, but yeah. um, it's mostly Super Saiyan. Okay. It's kind of somewhat limited to Super Saiyan. So okay. the other races don't really have transformations, but there are different kinds of power-up moves. Uh -huh. um, and power-up moves, um, they're not transformations, not as powerful as transformations. Yeah. So they're, instead of being an ultimate move, they're just a special move. They take less key to activate. Uh, so an example would be Kaioken. Yeah. So Kaioken is not a move that's limited to any race. Mm -hmm. Any of the races can equip Kaioken. Okay. Um, we're going to hand the controller. Okay, can we get into a game? We're going to hand a controller to one of our friends off screen to kind of like beat up a computer opponent. And then I'm going to run through some more fan okay. questions for you because I got tons of them. Okay. Um, so I'm going to hand this over to our guy over here. Okay. So he can select a character. He can go and they can just do battle right here against AI. Sure. Okay. So... How do you un... So there's all these characters. We unlocked them because we're awesome. Mm -hmm. How do you unlock them in the game? So you'll unlock characters by playing through the story missions in the game. Okay. So these are the missions where you're on time patrol sure. with Trunks, you know, traveling <laughs> through the Dragon Ball Z history and trying to you know, restore the timeline to its uh, normal flow. Okay. And as you defeat characters in that mode, you'll unlock them to be playable in other modes. Now, when you unlock a character, does it unlock all of their ver all of their kind of the variations? The variations. So you have to un you have to defeat the the characters in like the further saga <laughs> in the sagas in which those variations are available. Okay, so there's so quite a bit of unlockable right. variations. And right. So like Goku goes okay. Super Saiyan yeah. during the Frieza saga. Right. Um, so you'll have to play through the Frieza Saga in order to unlock Goku. Obviously, Goku's available right away right. at the beginning of the game, but not the variation that has to be seen. Okay. So but if you play through the Saiyan Saga, uh, the Super, uh, sorry, the Frieza Saga of the story missions, then you'll get Super Saiyan. Okay. And these guys are playable in the one-on-one -on -one battles. Yeah. But those characters are static, so they're at varying degrees of strength, right? Yeah. Well, all of their their different attributes, their you know their max key, their max stamina. Uh -huh. uh, is kind of set for each of those variations. Right. Um, and the different variations within a character can vary in, in the amount of max key. Right. Yeah. So as you have your custom character, right. and you, you're building up, building up to the max level, which is? 80. 80. So as you're building up to level 80, you're kind of varying in your strength against these static opponents, right? Like you might yeah. struggle at first, but maybe later you have a little more. Yeah. Kind of battle. So custom right. characters aren't great against most... Um, uh, existing characters one on one in your in the, your early levels, but the, by the time you get to eighty, you're very powerful. Okay, okay. What is well? What would you say? How does a, a character from level forty to eighty? Is there a huge difference? Like he is so much more powerful. He has so much more stamina. Um, well, that really just comes down to how you spend your attribute points. Okay. So every time you level up, you get a certain amount of attribute points, and then uh -huh. you can you know freely distribute those into health. Uh, stamina, key, things like that. Okay. So, uh, a good thing to think about is how you want to play that character. Like yeah. If you want to be a really key attack heavy character, or if yeah. you want to be more like a tank, you put a ton into your max health, sure. into your stamina, and then equip moves that are very defensive. Um, yeah. There's ways that you can kind of create variations. And you're going to be a lot of team. You're going to be doing a lot of team based missions yeah. online. So it's a good thing to think about if you want to have like a okay. uh, a character that can play a certain role. Okay. In now, how do you unlock? Because you have different accessories and different like like uh, costumes and stuff or armor. How do you unlock all that stuff? Is that same thing? Like once you progress through the story, you kind of get more and more stuff. Yeah. So there's tons of ways. There's tons of items in the game. We've got um, you know special moves, uh, consumable items, uh, costumes, things like that. Let's yeah. Play. So there's tons of different ways you can unlock them. One is by uh, finding them in quest missions yeah. uh, and in story missions. Uh, you can use your scouter to scout the area and you'll be able to discover hidden items. Oh, Sometimes you might okay. have to destroy parts of the environment in order to uncover hidden items. So okay. You can pick them up uh, and then they'll be yours as long as you complete the mission. Yeah. You'll also be awarded items of various types just by completing story missions okay. and quests. I um, guess that's what I'm trying to get at. Is yeah. there Are there some items or characters that are really hard to unlock? You have to meet these specific requirements and not everybody's going to find them? Uh, yeah, some are drops that will occur um, during missions uh, based on how well you do in the mission. Mm -hmm. uh, some you can buy in the shops, uh, but not every item is available in the shop right away. So okay. you have to progress a certain amount to unlocked. 
Okay. Um, so yeah, there are some rare items that are harder to get. Some you get through, uh, you know, the master system. Yeah. Uh, by training with certain masters. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you, if you guys have requests for Nick to play through, you want to see some different characters, shout it out in chat. We're on slow mode right now because we have a ton of people on. Um, if, you, if you want to just <laughs> play better, just give Nick a thumbs up if you want to play better. Um, okay, are we playing? We're uh, we're playing PS4 right now, so we're gonna keep Nick, on. Nick, you should go hold hold both uh, R2 and L2, and then uh, hold when on you're, when you're not getting destroyed, and then. There you go. Yeah, there you there go. There's we go. Super Sam. <laughs> yeah, your health is really low, so <laughs> Go Tanks goes down either way. Yeah. Okay, so we we get more lots more questions in chat and on Twitch. Um They want to see Broly versus Beerus. Can you do that, Nick? Okay. Yeah. There is a lag issue on the like the audio. Audio to video. Okay, we're we're, we're working on the lag issue, Anything so hopefully Hopefully you uh So that's Beerus right there. Oh, God of destruction. Of Got it. There's yeah. a lag issue. Yes, we are working. So that's Barris and then Broly's. Yeah, the next one we got. Them. Okay. So when you, um, so we're going through all these questions. Okay. Next question. How many custom character slots are there? Eight. Okay. So you can have eight of your own characters at the same time. Yeah. If you want to make nine, get rid of one of them. <laughs> um, talk to me about hair. <laughs> Lots of people have been asking about hair. all the different kind of hairstyles. Like IRL. And then. Hair. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and then um, when somebody's a Super Saiyan, then does their hair change, or what happens there? Uh, so custom Saiyan characters can equip a Super Saiyan skill and go Super Saiyan. Okay. And that happens, their hair will turn yellow. Uh -huh. um, it will not change its shape okay. or how it falls. Sure. Yeah. But characters who not non-custom characters? For the existing characters, their hair will stand up and appear as it would in the show. Okay. Go Super Saiyan. Okay. That's as good as we can. That's, that's, I mean, it's pretty solid. Okay. I have one weird question that I didn't even understand its relevance, but might you, maybe you will. Um, who voices male voice eight? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> we had a lot of fun with this one. Okay. Uh, it's one of the uh, choosable voices for the custom character. Right, right. right. Uh, so if anyone was curious, this is, um, yes. Ghost Snapper from Team Four Star. If you don't know who Team Four Star is, uh, they're a great uh, channel on YouTube, and they make a ton of amazing uh, Dragon Ball Z parody videos. They're extremely talented. Uh -huh. um, and when we were doing the recordings for this game, we had sure. the opportunity of bringing one of them in and having them kind of mimic uh, the voice uh, from Ghost Snapper, as people refer to him. Okay. Um, from their Team Four Star videos. So, uh, yeah, their their channel, their videos are hilarious. And so we wanted to include them in just as kind of like a, you know, a shout out. Um, they're big players in the kind of uh, Dragon Ball Z community. Okay. And we know that fans would love having a voice from from, from their series right, in the game. Right. So we did include them. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. great. Yeah. I I didn't know anything about these until you showed me their videos. And yeah. they're fantastic. They're yeah. great. So that's awesome that they're in there. Um, the theme song, the Dragon Ball theme song. What is it called again? Hedgehala. Yes. Is that song in the game? Yeah, it's in the text. Okay. That's yeah. it. So that's there. Go, just going through all the questions. Um, the freezer race. Tell, talk to me about the items, like the consumable items. How do those work and what? So you can equip uh, up to four consumable items, and those are usable in story missions and in uh, parallel quests, online mm -hmm. quests. Um, and they range from, you know, increasing your defense, restoring your health, um, sure. restoring your, your key or your ally's key. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, those are just, they'll help you out in the missions um, if you're low on health. Pop one of those, a sensor beam, get your health back and keep okay. on. Okay. Okay. Um, how are we doing on time? We're pretty good on time. Uh, so you're a Dragon Ball fan. The one of the main draws for this game is its story, right? Right. Like the Dragon Ball timeline is altered somehow, and you mm -hmm. have to kind of fix it. Yeah. So can you give any any hints or interesting tidbits of information that might tease people as to what the story what they might be experiencing in the story yeah so um there's been a lot of dragon ball games up to this point and yeah they kind of run through the same dragon ball story that we've seen time and time and again uh -huh. so we wanted to change things up with this one so what we did was we created a story where you're going to be able to see all of your 
you know, favorite Dragon Ball characters and, and those classic Dragon Ball moments, but everything's going to be a little bit different. Uh -huh. What's happened is that there is a mysterious entity who has been traveling throughout the Dragon Ball Z timeline and it, altering Kakarot? it, changing it. Battles aren't playing out the way that they're supposed back. to. Yeah. And in order to restore the timeline to its original form, Trunks has recruited you, the player, okay. to go to these um, pivotal moments in time and right all the wrongs, correct and set the timeline is uh, back to its normal, normal state. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's cool. That's great. Well, and we'll take a look at, so there's the story missions, but there's also like all these side quests, right? Yes. Okay. So we'll take a look at one of those later. Um, we'll let you, we'll save the story experience 100% for you yourself at home. Um, what are the differences between the play, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 versions or Xbox 360, Xbox One versions? So there's no content differences between um, the last gen sure. uh, platforms and uh, the last gen versions and the current gen versions. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that the current gen, um, you know, PlayStation 4 and Xbox 360 and also PC um, are just going to be looking a lot nicer. And, you know, you're going to have a higher frame rate and a higher resolution. Okay. Yeah. And the servers are, like, there's Xbox 360 servers, Xbox One servers, PS3, PS4 servers. There's no, like, crazy cross stuff. Um, we went through the playable characters. Lag seems to be gone now. Maybe. So congratulations, tech team. Thank you. Um, so we are... Let's do one more battle. Yeah, get rid of that. Let's do one more battle. Whenever Nick finishes up this one, we're going to, you and I take the controllers. We're going to take some fan requests for characters they want to see. And somebody was asking about um, the, uh, the lock-on uh, indicator. Mm -hmm. Can you change that at all? The change it meaning... Um, no, there's not really a way to change the, like, the look of it or yeah. anything. Um, it's there. I mean, when you turn lock on, when you if you lock off of someone, then they right. disappear. But there's but no way to actually in the change it. In the one on one, right? Uh, if you're playing locally one on one, yes. there's no there's no lock on Got feature it. because in that mode, since you're playing on the same console, you're always locked on to the other person. Okay. So there's no icon for it. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, we talked a little bit about jump at uh, jump festivals right around the holidays about the villainous modes. Do you know about, could you just give us like a general breakdown of how that works practically in the game mechanic-wise? Um, so what the, uh, the villainous modes are, are, are basically, as I mentioned before, there's this mysterious entity who's going through the Dragon Ball timeline making yeah. these changes. Uh, what they're doing actually is kind of powering up characters um, stronger than they normally would be mm -hmm. um, through some kind of magic and when this happens they get this strange purple glow their eyes turn uh, the shiny red color yeah. and they kind of go berserk they lose their conscious and they, they become more powerful uh -huh. um, so this is kind of like a, a, a villainous form is what we're somewhat calling it uh, so these characters are um, playable as variations of some of the existing characters mm -hmm. um, you know they have to be unlocked just like any of the other characters or variations would uh, so mechanically, it's not like a power-up mode that uh -huh. you can go into while yeah. you're fighting, but you can just kind of pick a character to be in that mode uh, by default. Okay. Um, we're going to get two controllers here. We're taking a chat request for the... Let me, let me take that one. You take this one. We can't really answer questions about why some characters are there opposed to others. Um, these are the characters that are available at launch. There's the Day 1 edition. Who's the day? Who's in the Day 1 edition? The character? Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? Yeah. And then... Um, we're definitely looking at uh, all sorts of different stuff for DLC because we have a season pass going on. Mm -hmm. So we want to see. Let me get a fan request. Let's Are we see. doing a local local match? Um, yeah, let's do a local match. All right. And Super 17 versus Super Perfect Cell. Are those people in there? Super 17 is not. In this game. Is in this game, not in this game. What about go? Someone say Bardock versus Goku. Yeah, Bardock that. versus Goku. We have actually a lot of those. We can do that. Is that cool enough? Yeah, we can do. I that. just want to get some cool matchups for people to see the different characters. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something. So when people play local co-op, they're going to be on this the, the same stage, right? Yeah. We haven't asked about that. Okay, so 
Do I, you I have to wait you for you? push options? Okay, so you'll... I pick I select, I pick I'll select my... Yeah, right. you pick after me. So I'm going to I'm gonna get Bardock. Okay. Uh, let's get the one that has Super Saiyan. Because I know everyone's going to see that. Let's see that. And who am I? Goku? Um, yeah, so you can move around now. You can select any version of Goku. Um, and this will so be you can press the square button to hide the menu. No, I like that. If you want to show it, then yeah. So you can see what he has Super equipped. Super Saiyan yeah. 2. I can go Super Saiyan 3. Yeah. yeah. You can get that one if you want. Full power. Trip. Spirit Bomb. Um, um, uh, yeah, I like this one. Go for it. Talk about Z Souls real quick, so I can distract you. So I might have a chance. Uh, to <laughs> Z Souls are um, Z Souls are basically like a functional accessory. It doesn't change your appearance, but it gives you kind of like a a boost. Um, so sometimes you might have a Z Soul which will specifically power up certain types of moves. Yeah. Um, you might have a Z Soul which will activate when you're low health. That might increase your defense or uh, instantly refill your key. Uh huh. Something like that. So it's kind of like a little functional boost for your character. So, we talked about this last time, but what's it called when you teleport behind the person? That is called Vanish. Vanish. And you yeah. have a certain... You can do that by pressing X, but it you'll yes. lose... What, what What do you drain? What's the... Stamina. Stamina okay. is the green bar Okay. that's below your key and your health. Um, stamina is for... I'm block that. Stamina is for defensive and movement-based skills. Um, okay. And uh, the key is for basically attack based skills. Uh, there are some skills which use both, um, but generally, okay. it is as I just said. Okay, so let's let's fight. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do I fly away? How do you fly away? Yeah. Uh, oh, if you if you hold L two. That's right, L two. That'll give That's you. That's right. There you go. Yeah. Using that move because the movement skill will slowly drain your. Stamina. Right. Oh. All right. Let's go. Super. Okay. So now you're draining key. So I should just like run away from you. Uh, that might be a good strategy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but maybe you can't escape. Maybe. Oh no! Run, Goku. So you've been playing this game for a little while. Yeah. And you understand the different moves, the different characters, the different skill sets. What do you, what kind of, as people play online, mm -hmm. and there is a rank mode, so there is yeah, like a... Yeah, there are rank matches. Yeah. yeah. What do you think is going to be some of... Spear Bomb? Let's take a lot of charge up. Oh, man. Are uh, you going to shoot it? No, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what are, what do you think some of the like popular like builds and characters are going to be? Uh, just playing online? Yeah. Um, I really think people are going to end up spending most of their time with the custom characters because yeah. it just allows you so much freedom. Like, if there's certain special moves that you love yeah. from different characters, like, you're going to be able to do that. Like, if you really love Final Flash and Special Beam Cannon, like, you're never going to be able to do that with an existing character. Yeah. Because Piccolo doesn't use Final Flash, <laughs> obviously, right? <laughs> I you do that. that. Yeah. I was just talking um, about that earlier. <laughs> uh, so it's like, if you, if you really love those two skills, then you can do that. Or if you want to see what... Uh, you know, special beam cannon will look like being fired by a uh, freezer race character. You can do that. Um, Did I just kill you? Yeah, look at that. Socked me right in the wrecked. jaw. Did you see my face? Like yeah. Yep. Super anime expression. That's yeah. what we call it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to take a quick break. Don't worry, we'll do plenty more of this. Um, we're going to show you a video right quick. This is the trailer that we had from our Jump Fest event back in December. It was in Japan. Um, so we'll just go through that trailer real quick and we'll be right back. And we'll keep on doing this for a little while. Thank you. Oh. We'll leave this place and collect more power. And there we can regroup and try again. You are truly my greatest masterpiece. A dark venom courses through the veins of the Dragon Ball world and opens a dangerous rift in time and space as the power intensifies. The past is rewritten. Give me a strong ally, someone with the kind of power to help me defend time itself. This wish I ask of you, Shenron. Your wish is granted. The world summons a new warrior with the power to save Dragon Ball. 
Reset the balance and make history once more. Prepare to jump into your Dragon Ball world. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And you just revived as well. As you can see, if history is in any way altered or distorted, it could change the world as we know it. Travel through an alternate past to restore the universe. Embark on adventures never experienced in the world of Dragon Ball. You hold the key. Who are you? I can't hold it anymore. Spirit Bomb! Goku's using the Spirit Bomb! Please, we have to buy some time! It's real simple. If Goku can shoot the Spirit Bomb, then... History will be corrected! Events in battle can change suddenly as the altered history unfolds. Team up with your friends and take on the most challenging situations. I'll just kill you all! Stop it, Frieza! Go, go! Yeah! That's enough, Frieza! Now I'm mad! All you have to do is beat Frieza and it's done. I really don't know much about you, but you really helped me out. Let me be the one to finish this, though. And yet, I can sense his energy. I think it's time to harvest. Your energy will be ours. They're thieves, stealing energy from warriors of all time periods. And because of that, history is changing for the worse. Now then, let's see how lame you really are. What's going on? How can something like this happen? There's no mistake. I know it. Those two are changing history. Nothing seems to be going our way. I wonder, is that Goku's son? What's wrong, Gohan? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you scared at my return? Hercule and Gohan are being strange, and you're the cause of it! That'll be all. Let's retreat for today. A new adventure awaits across incredible worlds. Help Goku and others save Dragon Ball history. Travel alone, or join together to defend the past and protect the timeline. I actually made two changes. It, it's ready! Thanks. It's time to destroy Earth! Undo the wrongs threatening the Dragon Ball world and fight against time to take back the future. Dragon Ball Z. Are we live right now? We're live right now. Hey, so we're back. So we're back. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you. Um, we let's do another match. Okay. Let's, let's take a. Who do you think would be a cool matchup? Beerus. I'm looking at what I see in chat. I see a Beerus. Um, let me go back to where everybody was spamming about the characters. Uh, there we. It's weird. Did it freeze race customization? Beerus, Beerus, and who? Who do you think? Beerus and somebody. I don't. Know. I don't know. This is all. There's all right, a lot I'm of chat. Gonna, I'm gonna pick a lot, lot of chat there. There's a lot of um, chat. I just want to recap a lot of the questions we keep seeing over and over and over again. Um, we do not have a current demo plan for the game right now. We're just wrapping up, doing everything. We're less than two weeks out from release, so yeah. Um, so no, no demo. I mean, who knows what's, what we're gonna do in the future? But right now, nothing planned for that. Right. Um trying to think of some of the other questions that kept on coming up over and over and over again. Um, a lot of people ask, like, why isn't this character in the game? Why isn't that character in the game? Uh, it's not a question we can answer. It's like, these are the characters that are in the game right now. Yeah. <laughs> we have future content plans, so hopefully your favorite character will make it in eventually. Yeah. Um, I have to press options. There you go. So you, am I going to be Beerus? Are you going to be Beerus? I, I've sucked at Beerus already, so... Okay, who should I pick? <clears throat> uh... So, let's see... 
let's an get Gohan. let's get our day one edition character. Uh, Vegeta, a uh, Super Saiyan for Vegeta. He's yeah. the bottom right, right there. Okay, we'll do okay. him. Yeah, let's do him. What are the differences in my there skills here? Finish Breaker, Meteor Crash. I like the sound of Spirit Slash. Nice. Thanks for waiting. Parallel quests. Those are the side quests? Yeah, those are like side quests. Um, they are co opable. Yeah. Um, up to three. Up to three people can play at the same time? Yeah. So. How many of those are there? I don't, you probably don't even know an exact number. Uh, 50. 50? Yeah. Oh, we're going to be doing exact number. How come I can't break out of this and press an X? Because uh, I'm Beerus. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he had special abilities. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, um, I was going to ask you about... Oh, we were talking about what do you think is going to be popular online. Oh, there we go. So you talk about like everyone's going to like their custom character. That, that's yeah. probably true. But what do you think... Do you think there's certain abilities that, like, oh, everyone's going to use these two abilities? Or do you think it's just going to be everyone's going to be doing whatever they want? There's going to be so much variation. Um, I'm actually just really excited to see what the fans are going to do. I mean, we put a ton of different moves and abilities into the game. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like, when you put a game out, like, you can play a game a, a ton and test it a ton. But when you put it out there in the wild and, you know, you have, you know, hundreds of thousands of fans playing yeah. it, they're going to find, like, the coolest combinations of skills and yeah. equipment um, that you may not have ever been thought of. So I'm really interested to see what the what the fans are going to come up with. Oh, that's a meteor crash. Are you running? Okay. Is there a way to charge up my meter? Whoa, can I run away from uh, that? Yeah, if you have that meter crypt, I don't know if that character does I don't necessarily. Look like I do. But that um, charges up your... Not your stamina. Your key. Your so stamina pretty much only refills, uh, aside from like uh, using items, stamina will just refill slowly over time. Um, if you want to charge your key, it's usually like you hold down. It depends. If you hold down the R1, you can see if maybe he has a move equipped for it. Or R2, sorry. R2. Oh, R2? Uh, so maximum charge. So if you hold R2 and then press X, there you go. Okay. That's your charge. I'll charge it here. But then you're going to have to be vulnerable. That's why you just don't do it all the time. <laughs> right, right, right. Of course. I like how you have that title, God of Destruction. Yeah. At, when I first played this, controls felt a little weird, like flying around and then clicking in the left thumbstick to go down. It feels perfectly natural now. <laughs> I haven't even played that much. Yeah, there's a couple of different ways to fly down. Uh, you can actually double tap uh, X, the uh, jump button. And hold it? Yeah, you can double tap and hold it to go down. Okay. Uh, you can also hold the guard button. Uh, Which button is that? That is um, and block all the time. Right. Obviously. Oh, so your Z Soul just activated, and you noticed that you revived after I killed you. <laughs> now you your health is slowly <laughs> defeating. I did kill you, yeah, <laughs> but you revived you. You got full health, but it's slowly defeating. Okay, and that has so a, that's a chance to activate. Um, it'll show in the description exactly when it happens. Uh, there are some Z Souls that activate on a certain chance. I don't know if that's uh, one of them in particular, but oh, my spirit slide is. Um, that's kind of an example of how. Uh, oh! Oh wow! I Dang. just barely got you before time right now. Zap. Um, how many custom characters? We already talked about that. You can have eight, right? Eight, eight slots. slots for custom eight characters. Um, are there cutscenes in the game? Uh, yeah, there are cutscenes okay. during the story missions, and okay. you'll see your custom character in those cutscenes with all of your equipment and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We just keep on going. Um, we're gonna do some giveaways right now. We have two rounds of giveaways. We're gonna do round okay. one. Round one. I don't have any uh, props to show you. Four copies of Dragon Ball Xenoverse, this game right here, okay. that we don't have in the office yet, but we'll send to you once we get them. Um, so we'll pick four winners. I need to turn slow mode off on Twitch so we can have real time. That is completed. So we're going to have four winners, and we will let you pick the platform of your choice, and we'll get you a copy of the game. So right. same thing as last time, is we will message you on Twitch after. So we're going to pick four random people right now. We'll message you on Twitch afterwards. Just pop into ch Twitch chat and tell us which race is going to be your first custom character. And oh, wait a second, let everybody answer. Um, we'll message you on Twitch. If we don't message you on Twitch, message us on Twitch and we'll get back to you. Um, but we'll ship you a copy of Dragon Ball Universe on the platform of your choice. Don't tell us the platform now. Tell us that when we actually talk via email if you're the winner. Um, 
I like this one right here. Let's see. There are a lot of people in our chat. Thank you everyone for showing up. So we're going to pick our first winner is going to be Yasmind. Y-A-Z-M-I-N-D. So you're going to be one winner. Winner number two is going to be Wazuko. W-A-Z-U-K-O. And if I'm saying your name, if I spell it wrong, message us because I won't be able to message you. So that's two. We need two more. Um, let's do... Hmm. Deadly Troop. Deadly Troop. And then our fourth winner will be... Uh, let's see. So much, dude. There's a lot, a lot of Twitch spam here. <laughs> I guess we asked you to spam for so that's fine. Jet 505. So those four people win copies of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And, ooh, let me see that. I mean, it's kind of mean to show this off now since this is a limited offer that isn't available anymore. But for you guys that pre-ordered at GameStop and you got the metal case, um, this is what that looks like. It's pretty awesome. Have you seen these yet? I have not, and that looks really awesome. Cool. So those of you who got the limited time offer at GameStop for the pre-orders, those are pretty cool. Um, last I heard is they are sold out of them, though. so it's kind of mean to show them here. But um, if we have extras, we'll we'll try to send these along and we'll send up copies. I'm not sure if we do that. Uh, okay, so those four people, winners, we'll do the next round of winners at the end. We also have, just like last time, we gave away a set of Dragon Ball Z Blu-rays, season one through six. So we have those right here. So we'll give this set away to one lucky winner at the end of the stream. So, moving on with our agenda. We're going to take a look I at... destroyed. You, you got destroyed? Are, yeah. you, are we in the mission now? Yeah, it's a quest. Okay, so quest what do you have to do that. in this quest? Uh, defeat the Dingy Force Mirrors, but they defeated me. Are there different um, difficulties for these? Uh, no, just one difficulty level. Okay. And you can do these whenever you want, right? It's like... Um, uh, so when you first time? start up the game, uh, you're going to have to go through like a short kind of tutorial. Um, some kind of some tutorial story missions. You'll fight Trunks. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I think if you do one story mission, then you'll unlock a few parallel quests. Okay. Yeah. And then you keep on unlocking more and more as you go. Right. But exactly. if one's too hard, you can just leave that for some other time. You can go back to it whenever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, can you... You had a level 80 character already made. Yeah. Can we look at that one? Sure. Do you have most of the um, abilities unlocked? Yep. Can we look at... Just go through oh, yeah, some of those? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I can't see my own message. Believe me, your messages are all there. I have to put slow mode back on, though. Um, <clears throat> Freezy Pop. <laughs> it's okay if you guys want to ask questions. Uh, so keep on sending us questions if you got them. Uh, do you know if there's options for the one versus one matches, like timer and stuff like that? Or is that all? Uh, no, it's all... It's okay. all um, just one because I mean the main focus of the game is the, the well, it's mostly yeah. the story, the adventure, the playing yeah. with friends and stuff like that. Right? Could you go over as you look at some of the abilities? Just kind of scroll through them so people can see them. Sure. But can you talk about um, the different ways you can play, like online, offline, two versus two, three versus three? Mm -hmm. Can you just do your best to kind of overview all that? Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of different ways uh, that you can play this game. Um, yeah. Everything is available offline as well as online uh -huh. um, except for the local co-op that's offline only sure uh but uh let's see so you've got uh the main story missions where we talked about mm -hmm. uh you know fully voiced cutscenes, helping trunks to restore the timeline yeah uh that's a great mode to go through for unlocking a lot of characters mm -hmm. uh then you've got uh parallel quests which are going to start from over here uh there's 50 of these um and these are just random missions where you go to you know different kind of Dragon Ball events uh, and 
they either fight guys or collect items. Um, mm -hmm. It's not always straight up just trying to kill all the enemies. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be collect these items or do something in a certain amount of time. Sure. Um, you might have an NPC character which you have to protect while you're going through the mission. Sure. Uh, these are up to three uh, players online. Uh-huh. And... Let's see anything else about them? I think that's so you can play. You have your custom yeah. custom character. Somebody else's custom character. Some on the other right. players. But you, you can also can play together. you can also select the existing characters. Okay. Um, some for some missions you have to uh, complete them once before you can play them again with an existing character. Yeah. And uh, but some uh, and in the case of those missions you'll have to play them with your custom character. Sure. First. Can you just keep on scroll through the abilities real quick? Sure. I know a lot of people want to know. Some people probably already looked at all the data mine stuff. That people just want right, to know right. all the different stuff that you can do. So, so uh, you have super so attacks, all, so ultimate attacks, all, evasive attacks. Right. So here's Evasibly. all your super attacks. Um, they're all listed here. You can filter uh, by strike skills. These are physical-based uh, attacks. Key blasts are energy-based attacks. Okay. Um, so you just, you know, Kamehameha, you know, 10 times. What are some of your, and they're all animated mm -hmm. in their own special ways. What are some of your favorites that you've seen, like, in the game, actually, like, their animations and stuff? What do you think is this represented, represented really well? Um... Wow, uh, Kamehameha for sure. Yeah. Uh, you can also charge that one, uh, so there's a, you know a little bit more utility to it. Um, okay. Masenko's a good. This one activates instantly. You can't charge it, but it's easier to end combos with this than Kamehameha, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, but needless to say, there's a lot of different uh -huh. kinds of abilities, kinds of mechanics to like play around and see what works best with your character. Right. There's right. just tons of different. Yeah. There's options. there's tons of stuff. Um, you know all. Taken a lot of them taken straight from you know Dragon Ball moments characters right uh, episodes and then right. some are kind of new for the game. Is Guido OP? Goldo. Goldo. Is Goldo OP? Goldo. I haven't used him much, but he has some like telekinesis move where you can manipulate the uh, manipulate the opponent. You can like freeze them. And really. Things like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's actually pretty interesting. I just haven't used him much. Okay. Um, are there, and li like we talked about earlier, the local co-op or like PVP, is there, there's ladders and stuff to climb, but there's, so there is a ranked mode, yeah. um, uh, which you can go to, uh, so that's ranked matches, yep. uh, those are one-on-one, -on -one. and then there's also, you know, regular player matches, which can be 1v1 up to 3v3. Okay. So you can have three versus three, so yeah. three of your friends. I'm excited to see some like some videos, some streams of like three people who are pretty good at the game against right. three people who are pretty good at the game. <laughs> that's that's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's I think players are gonna serve a, a lot of strategies because uh, once you have you know two other teammates, there's ways that you can coordinate your uh, your attacks and your um, abilities right. to be really effective. So right, right, right. Um, talk about DLC. I mean, there's not that much we can talk about DLC. You can find online. We've detailed. There is a season pass. Yeah. Three packs of DLC. Mm -hmm. We've already talked about what's in the first pack. And did mm -hmm. we talk about the dates of that yet? Do we know? I don't think we've okay, yeah, yeah. the dates. Yeah. Um, but Coming soon. we're mostly focused on just the game. Yeah. DLC is like afterwards. Like, cool. I want to bring more content later. Yeah. We're really excited this game is done and going to be out in. Yeah. This is definitely. It's not split up and pieced off into things down the line. This is a full. There's tons of stuff here to, to talk about. Tons of play. stuff. Yeah. Um, any plans? Uh, the there's English voiceover. Do you yes. have the option for Japanese voiceover or no? Yes. You do? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, can you change your character's fighting style? I mean, you can change all your different abilities and stuff. Yeah, you can change your special moves and abilities, but your default punches and kicks you can't um, okay. change. The different races and genders inherently have different moves from okay. each other. So, you know, freezer race uh, characters fight differently than, say, in race characters. Right, uh, right. Like, they will also make use of their tails in some of the moves. Mm -hmm. um, That's pretty cool. Yeah, but once you pick a certain custom character, you can't change the fighting style. Yeah. Um, you can only change the special attacks, the abilities, um, you know, the equipment, uh, your Z-Souls, and your accessories. So Right, right. A lot of stuff you can <laughs> customize. Can you have a super attack in the ultimate slot, or the just super attacks in the super slot? Yeah, only in the super attacks and only go in super. Right. And slots. then you have your evasive skills. Can you look at some of those? Sure. Uh, 
Just looking through some of the questions. Some questions I we, we want to answer all the questions we can, but some of these questions are just the, the same thing that we already talked about. Um, can you use Super Spirit Bomb? Spirit Bomb's in. Yeah. Uh, super Spirit Bomb? I don't think there's a move that's Super Spirit. Well, actually, let's see. Can you change the color of your aura? No. No, you cannot. Do Saiyans have tails? No, but um, some of the costumes have tails on them. Oh, okay. So if you get, I, I think like uh, Raditz's costume. Yeah. Because Raditz, uh, he had his, he had his tail in the, in the series still. Okay. For the entire time that he was alive, um, so that costume has a tail wrapped around. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna keep on going with questions. We'll do some one on ones after this. But if you can just keep on scrolling through stuff to show people yeah. the different stuff available. Uh, we talked about earlier before stream i was asking you to tell me about the masters yes could could you just briefly break down the masters so the master system is uh Actually, let's get into a one-on-one -on -one and then we'll okay. keep on talking sure uh i can talk while we head over there to the one-on-one -on -one section okay but the master system basically allows you to uh you know effectively train under existing Dragon Ball characters. Mm -hmm. um, and by doing that, you will learn some of their special moves and possibly unlock some of their costume pieces. Okay. Um, so, so basically, it's like a series of missions that you can do while you're training under that master. Yeah. Um, once the... Once you have... Uh, another thing is to note is that not all masters are available right away. Some yeah. will not train you until you're powerful or you know until you're worthy enough. <laughs> okay. That usually just means you have to be at a certain level. Um, okay. And some you'll need to find in Toki Toki City. Um, it's not always obvious where they are. And you can drop one master and pick up another master, right? So I guess, yeah. uh, is it possible? So once you start training under someone, you can switch to anyone else basically any time as, okay. as, um, as long as they'll accept you. Okay. Bring it on! Who'd you pick? I picked uh, Kid Trunks. I think someone, I saw someone before asking for Kid Goten versus... Where is Kid Goten Kid, at? Yeah, uh, right there. Just go ten actually. So right there, uh, below, 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 below there. No, go, go ten. There you go. Um, Super Saiyan. Last dumb bullet. Super common. Um, so another thing uh, to know about master, the mm. master system, is that when you have someone as your master, um, you'll learn their skills and abilities under certain conditions. If you're in a parallel quest, there's a chance that your master will just join the battle. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We'll join the battle and help you out. Um, okay. Uh, so I'll leave that to the f uh, you know players to figure out how to make that happen. But uh, but if you wanna if you wanna be unlocking like all of the abilities, you have to be changing masters, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, another thing that's really really cool is um, every time that you finish a story mission or a parallel quest, you're graded. Um, you know, get a rating from uh, I think like D to Z, D yeah. to Z, yeah. And um, your whoever your master will comment on your performance <laughs> on their results. Are there screen. some pretty good lines? Yeah, so there's some pretty funny lines. Um, uh, so it's funny, like if you have Vegeta, like he'll berate you if you do really if you do really poorly. Um, you know, Goku will be more happy go lucky and be like, oh, you'll get him next time. <laughs> uh, you know, Cell's one of the masters. Um, Gotenks is also a master, which is actually a fusion of the two characters that we're playing right now. But yeah. And Gotenks always has a lot of like really kind of a uh, conceited like self-important uh lines that he'll say <laughs> like oh yeah of course you do that well since you're training with the best <laughs> things like that so oh are you on super saiyan no i'm just using this ultimate oh uh, yeah i'll just i'm just gonna hit a that. bunch i'm not very good at this game apparently i have not taken the time to learn how to be good <laughs> i'll let you i'll let you get some hits in i appreciate it thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> i just want to go super saiyan what do i have to do charge uh hold both triggers, or yeah, that's R two, and then oh, there we go. There you go. Does it? Is there like a? It, I can't like go Super Saiyan in the middle of like being comboed, right? Like I have to kind of be free and away yeah. from everything. Yeah. And you, the va the vanish is that is that what you call it? the X? Mm -hmm. You can do that to like continue combo. I think we talked about this the last time on screen. Yeah, so. yeah. So if you knock someone away, you can vanish and it'll appear behind them. Um, even if actually if you don't knock them away, you can activate it kind of. Uh, uh, Ouch. Yeah, you can activate it mid combo too. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, trying to look at some questions. 
Is Gogeta a master? No. Okay. Very hard to find certain mentors. So certain mentors are like appear more often than others. You might, right? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So some people were talking about Beerus and Frieza. That maybe those are a little harder to find. They're in there. Okay. Um. Using. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. A lot of people are asking about, yeah, the game's out in Japan, um, and mm -hmm. some people are playing it, but we are f kind of focused on our launch, so right. before we take a look at any bugs or anything like that, at least on our side, that's what, you know, we're focused on the launch, so right. different things that are going on the Japanese game that's handled by the guys in Japan. That's yeah. We're, we're focused on the American launch. Yeah. Um, playable characters, we've gone over all the playable characters here. The biggest focus yeah. on playable characters is you yourself creating your character. Yeah, I mean These that's a, that's a big deal for this game. Yeah, yeah. Um, can we, can you be a great ape? <laughs> uh, no, you cannot play as a okay. great ape. Now uh, let's say you will fight them in the missions. Though. Okay, the parallel quests you unlock certain things, and maybe you'll miss some stuff. You can can you go back? Yeah, okay. you can repeat parallel quests. Okay, you can repeat story missions also. Okay. Um. Do you know about, um, uh, never mind. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, go through the characters one more time for people who maybe came in late. Okay. Just kind of just up and so down this the list. So this is the complete character list. And if you know that, I'm just going to go through the whole list. And if you know if there's cool variations, can you show those off too? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to do that as I'm looking through some of the questions. So here's Vegeta. Classic Vegeta. The first arrived on Earth. The first time <coughs> you heard the whole story wrapped up together and understood what it was all about, what did you think of it? Uh, I thought it was kind of awesome. Yeah? Because, like I've said before, you know, we've kind of seen this same um, Dragon Ball story happen quite a few times and in quite a few games. Um, and you still want to experience those things but it's 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 kind of a great great balance because you still get to see your favorite battles and your favorite characters but things play out slightly differently than you would expect yeah um and there's some new characters who pop up and since you create your own character and you get to go to these battles with your own character it really feels like you're in the dragon ball world and you're making a difference yeah um so it's a cool kind of like alternate reality kind of story i guess you could call it okay yeah um and we talked about this earlier but I'm just looking at questions. There's just the same. Uh, this whole broadcast will be up on YouTube afterwards if you missed any parts of it. We went through a lot of these questions that will be answered now. We asked now. We went through all those earlier. So feel free to watch that later. Um, the game is out in less than two weeks, right? Yeah. February 24th, uh, 27th on Steam. It is going to be on Steam. February 24th in the Americas at least. It's Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4. Mm -hmm. PS4, Xbox One, digital pre-orders are available now. Xbox 360, digital pre-orders available. PS3, digital pre-orders are... There's not going to be digital pre-orders, but it will be available day one digitally. Max level is level 80. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. Do you... Do mentors affect just the moves or anything else that you learn? Or do you get like special you, tributes or anything? Uh, you'll get... Uh, costume pieces and also special okay. moves from them. Okay, I'm excited to see all the different kind of custom characters and what 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 gets out there. Yeah, I think, yeah, absolutely. I think that first week there's going to be a ton of cool stuff that people are going to uncover. Yeah. So, okay. as a pretty hardcore Dragon Ball nerd, I use that word <laughs> lovingly. Sure. I'm a I'm a nerd as well. Sure. Um, is there anything else about the game that we haven't covered in the last stream or this stream or even in press and stuff like? What's funny is we do a lot of anime games here, Bandit Namco. Right, it's sometimes right. hard to get like major, uh, major press outlets. You know, interesting because mm -hmm. it's like, oh, it's another Dragon Ball game, or oh, it's another right, Naruto right, game. Right. Um, so it's kind of on us to say this game is awesome because. So it's like, is there anything that we haven't covered that you, or that we haven't covered enough detail that you think is cool for Dragon Ball fans? Um, now that the game's coming out. Yeah. Um, I think just the fact that this game is very online focused, very kind of community. Um, 
focus I think makes this a great experience. Like Tokyo Tokyo City and the ability to meet up with um, your friends there, go on quests together, mm -hmm. uh, fight each other in the Dragon Ball world and have this the best customization we've ever seen in any Dragon Ball game. I think yeah. that's really what it is. So okay. this game, plus the story, the new Dragon Ball story, it's really about going into the Dragon Ball Z world and being in that world. Mm -hmm. Previous games, I think, were about um, reliving existing moments or playing as certain characters. This sure. is about being in the Dragon Ball world. Okay. And I think that's what sets it apart from any other Dragon Ball game. Okay. Um, and before we go out tonight, we're going over on time, but who cares, man? So um, no problem. We have a special guest who is a returning guest this time. We're, we have a, we advanced a little bit technologically a lot since last time. <laughs> okay. We were actually on time this time, so that was yeah. good. But uh, Chris Sabat, who voices some of the characters in the game, we have him on Skype. I'm going to bring this. This is our, our microphone for Chris. Um, uh, Chris, are you there? Can you hear us? Yes, I am on. Chris, Great, what's that up? is fantastic. Chris, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Sorry, uh, I guess some I I was the uh, I was the culprit of the technical difficulties this time. <laughs> it's all right. It's nothing compared to last time. This is super smooth. Um, just to give you a recap, we've gone through some of Dragon Ball Z Universe game. For people who don't know, Chris Sabat voices Chris Sabat. What do you What do you do in the game? Tell us why uh, why you're here. Why Why is this a relative? Well, uh, I'm the voice of Vegeta, Piccolo, Yamcha, Mr. Popo, Kami, bunch of dragons and stuff like that. I was also the voice director for the Dragon Ball Z series, and um, you guys were kind enough to come to my studio to record the voices for Z Universe. Very cool. So we've gone That's through right. the game. The game's coming out really soon, so we're allowed to say a lot more about the game. So, I mean, you work with Brandon all the time um, to make sure everything in this game is just right here in the Americas. So do you have any comments about now that we're closer and we can talk a little more about the game? What, you know, any, any stories or comments or thoughts? <laughs> wow, I'm not. I I can't hardly remember what I've told people and what I haven't. <laughs> is that it's uh, really exciting that's going to be out soon. I I'm sick of not being able to talk about it too much. Right. I know. Uh, I know. Recently, it's been kind of discovered online that there is a mysterious voice eight in the character. <laughs> yeah, we we actually talked a little bit about that earlier. Brandon yeah. could fill you in. Yeah, so we did let everyone know that uh, our friends from Team Four Star um, are responsible for male voice eight in the game, um, and it was we were super happy to have them, um, you know, on the project, and and they're you know great contributors to the Dragon Ball community. So uh, we thought it would be super awesome and a great treat for the fans to have them. Uh, I really kind of wish a hidden that, voice in the game. I wish that everybody could have been involved in that session. Because we had uh, we had Taka and we had Kaiser and Bonnie all in the studio at the same time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. throwing these things out because we kind of built the script on the fly, letting them kind of do what they wanted to do with it. Right, and it right. Was so fun. Yeah. Was so fun. Yeah, we had a great time, and it's yeah, a lot of the stuff just kind of happened just off the cuff, like the ways that we did this, uh, you know, kind of changed the way that he says the names of a lot of the special moves. Um. That was mostly pretty much all improvised on the spot, and that was super, super fun. Yeah. The uh, one thing to remember, too, and people are going through all these custom characters, um, the, the toughest part about doing the custom characters was finding people that would be appropriate for the Dragon Ball Z world that weren't already voices in the Dragon Ball Z <laughs> world. Yeah. So right. we had to find all these awesome people that uh, haven't been Dragon Ball Z yet. So when you kind of start flipping through some of these custom characters, you're you may or may not recognize some of these voices. Right. But, yeah. Uh, you'd be surprised who some of them are. Yeah. Yeah. They sound um, different, but comfortable to the Dragon Ball world, which. Yeah. 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 And, you know, we have you to thank for that amazing casting. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Team Four Star guys are awesome and I love every opportunity to uh, be anywhere near them. So. <laughs> They, they smell funny, but darn, they're funny. <laughs> <laughs> totally worth the smell, right? <laughs> um, Chris, you've helped us out a lot. Um, you are at one of our press events uh, not too long ago, and we really appreciate everything you've done to help promote the game. It's great to have somebody who's so connected to the Dragon Ball world. Um, before really we were talking about what we were going to have you talk about, and I told Brandon I was going to have him ask you to do some some iconic voices or you know voice clips for us and he was like i i don't everybody asked chris that i don't know if i want to ask him that <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see what what could i possibly say vegeta's an angry guy <laughs> uh, he always says 
uh, what everyone always asks me to say is this weird over 9,000 phrase. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Piccolo, he's always, uh, oh, wow. I, I'm watching the live, uh, like the chat go by, and this, all this crazy gibberish just came out. <laughs> um, so that's Piccolo, and his job is basically to tell uh, Gohan what to do. <laughs> and Yamcha is obviously the coolest character in the whole game. Uh, I'm sure pretty much everyone's just going to play Yamcha versus Yamcha <laughs> constantly. So, uh, yeah, it's it's always fun to do. It's always fun to work in the Dragon Ball games. I swear, I I never thought, you know, in 1998 that we'd still be working on this series. Right, right. <laughs> uh, we got we got plenty more to go. We're we're not giving up. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take it. Well, Chris, I think uh, we're running short on time, so. Thank you so much for joining us, though. Is there anything you want to shout out to our thousands of fans online before you uh, go? Let's see. Uh, wow, what do I, that's always a weird question. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry. I, I'm on the internet! Oh, my God! <laughs> Get me out of here! And someone just said for me to do Kubara's voice, except that has nothing to do with Dragon Ball Z, so I got to go. <laughs> Dodge, climb down. All right. Well, thank you very much, Chris Sabat. Do you want to, you know, shout out your your Twitter, your Facebook? Do you have that sort of stuff? Yeah, but it's it's not too hard to find me. It's, okay. Uh, Chris two four sab at sign or something like that. <laughs> they can just Google it; and it'll be fine. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot for joining us, man. Talk to you soon, guys. Yep. All right. So you're playing. Is this one of the parallel quests? Yeah. Yeah. This is a parallel quest. I've been uh, kind of flying around aimlessly. <laughs> right. For the past so couple of minutes trying to find the Dragon Balls. Um, good thing we had Chris on talking. <laughs> Otherwise, this would have been you really boring. Um, and we're going to do one more giveaway at the end here before we sign off. And like I said, you guys, if you have questions about the game, you can continue to send them to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll do our best to answer. Um, some of the questions like, why is this character not in? Why is this character not in? It's just, there's, no <laughs> there's no answer to that question, so it's hard to respond to yeah. stuff like that. Um, just stay tuned for more. Like I said, our DLC info, our season pass info is online, so look up that, um, mm -hmm. and we'll have more info coming about that. But right now, we just we think we have a fantastic game, and we're focused on that. We're not really worried about the DLC at this very moment. Um, we have Dragon Ball Seasons 1 through 6 on Blu-ray. Do you own these at home? Is that Kai or original? Original. Yeah, I think I do. Not on Blu-ray, though. I would like You're to You're jealous? <laughs> I am you a little bit, I'm a little bit jelly. So I'm not going to lie. Type into chat. Tell us, um, again, just what race you're going to pick when you create your custom character, and then we will pick a winner. I take slow mode off on Twitch. Slow mode off. And then go ahead and tell us what race you want, and then we will select a winner. So you can see all these. Just a huge Beautiful. pile of... Beautiful. Dragon Ball goodness. Um, how long do you think it takes to get from level one to level eighty? <sighs> wow. You don't um, have to. Get, it's not official. This is just like off the cuff. <laughs> just like Brandon William just hanging out at GameStop talking about Dragon Ball. Uh, this is no. This is not official. Anybody who's, who's listening right now. I would say a good amount of time. A good, good amount. A good amount of time. Okay. I. That's all you got for us. Okay, that's fine. That's right. I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> to pressure you. That's fine. I was looking for a number, but that's fine. Everyone wants a number, but that's okay. Okay, keep on saying what race you're going to be in chat. Let me scroll down. Let me pick a winner. Um, some people are saying this is going to be their first Dragon Ball game. Is that is that crazy to you? Like, is it? Wow. Uh, this is a good one to start with. Yeah. I'll say that, yeah. Because, yeah, you'll be able to experience a lot of Dragon Ball stuff. That's, yeah. that's crazy. I guess I always assumed if you're a Dragon Ball fan, you were like Dragon Ball fan for life. Like, nothing. <laughs> Well, they will be for life after yeah. they play this game. Okay. Um, okay, so our winner is going to be beyond Sharp. So Beyond Sharp, you won Season 1 through 6 on Blu-ray of Dragon Ball Z. And we will message you on Twitch, or you can message us if we somehow miss you. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, this is our second Twitch stream for Dragon Ball Z Universe. If you want to see our first one, you can go to YouTube. Um we will put this up on YouTube also so you can tell all your friends to watch it. Um, I'm Jay. This is Brandon. We're Bandit Amco Games. That's Do right. you want to say anything to all those Dragon Ball Z fans out there? Uh, man, thanks for being